Hello, Hume. Hello, Hume. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the magic pog. Uh, you should be asleep. It's what? What is that? Four in the morning? Oh, of course, you woke up. How nice. I'm running a bit late tonight because I only just finished making my dinner. But, you know how it is. You know what? Fair enough. That's a full, uh, what, decent few hours of sleep. Yeah, today, uh, we're gonna do some just relatively basic stuff to warm up. And then we're going to just, what's it called? Hop over to this piece I wanna work on. I had my base sketch that I made a while back on paper, and then from there I want to move on to... I did the line art for here, but I'm not done with it. I want to get a lot more detail into this piece. I'm going to need also backgrounds and other things like that, but it'll come. Also, I need to sometimes take stuff to eat dinner, so that is also something that's going to happen. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The mini chemist. There he is. Look at him. What a fool he is. I think for the warm-up though, we're going to do a pose um, practice. I know exactly which one I want to do. Let me see if I can find it. Actually, I think I have it saved on my phone. So let me see, where is that? It's a pose by... God, I can't remember what his name is. It's like Nick Robles or something like that. Let me see if I can get it. This. Right, let's just throw it to my Google Drive and then we'll uh, get it from there. I will admit, it's a little bit spicy. But I want to I wanna do some practice, practice with it anyway. Is it safe for Twitch? Debatable. Will I do this anyway? Yes. Alright, where's, where's the snip tool? That's the easiest way to do this. There's this one artist who does like, how do you say, he does like official comic book artwork, but he's especially known for these like few pieces he did of specifically pinups from the X-Men. And uh, this is definitely one of them. So uh, prepare yourself, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna um, drop the opacity of this layer and just hide it in the corner. <laughs> oh, fuck. Drop the opacity and just hide it away. Let's put the like over there. Anyway. I just want, I want to do like a pose study of this character. And so I want to do something really just really simple. I just want to like just figure out this pose. And that's going to be the warm up for today. Also, I'm really weirdly warm. I'm not sure why it's so warm in here. I might get a cold drink to help me with that. Ooh. My oven dinged. I forgot I had that going. Anyway. It's just turned off. It's fine. Alright. Let's see. I guess we'll just figure it out. Oh, God. Where do I even start? Do I want to just start the limbs? Yeah, let's... This is usually how I start with um, figuring out a pose when I'm doing it normally. I find the joints... And then from there, I figure out exactly 
how the connections are supposed to work. Because, like, most of the bones in the body are relatively straight. So you can kind of figure that out. And, like, even the hands. Like, it's made of multiple pieces, sure, but they all are relatively straight things. This man doesn't seem very straight, but that's beyond the point. Oh god, something weird about arms. Is by default they're actually these bones in here are crossed. So if you turn your wrist back and forth, you can feel your bones in your forearm cross back and forth. It's really weird. Something I actually really like about this piece, just by default, is... Alright, the best way to put this is it's... It is horny. Yes, it is, it's definitely horny, but... It's not ero erotic, exactly. At least I don't really think so. It's very much more so along the lines of... It's insinuating, yes, but it's not really driving the rest home, how do you say? I don't know how to put this, I'll be honest. Alright, how do the, how do how do you work? So we need the spine, which curves. I'm just gonna go something like that. The pelvis is relatively straight piece. The shoulders as well, they can move back and forth a bit. And you have like the collarbone here, like crossing over. And more sternum, then the ribcage and so on. Was I attracted to Nightcrawler before I saw these images? No. Am I now? Yes. That's not really the point of this, is it? Now, let's... Alright, let's see. How do we make that work? Kind of like there, honestly, but hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a horny pose. Let's just take a look at this for a bit. I need to figure out. Some posing mechanics. And we use this opportunity to take a few bites of dinner. Oh yeah, I also made it so you are able to now spend channel points. I haven't been able to make it customized yet, so it's still the default icon. I threw some things in there that are custom, but I do need to make an icon for it still. Got some ideas, but we'll get there. We're looking at his crotch once I gotta zoom out. There we go. Gotta get the full thing, you know?
Delightful. All right. Well, the thing is, you've been watching my streams for a while, and ever since I got affiliate, you've been able to gain channel points, you just haven't been able to actually spend them. Hmm. Also, look, <laughs> it's really easy for me to start ranting about something, so I might as well make it so you have to pay for it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I couldn't think of anything, okay? Just I just put it in, alright? It's fine. Usually it can be done for free, but I might as well make people pay for it. Anyway, I was trying to say... There's actually some really good things to look at with this piece. And that is the fact that... There's a good level of muscle definition without being, like, muscly. But there's also a lot of perspective twists. Like right here. This leg is all the way back, so it's a lot sh shorter looking. But also, like, the arm sizes are different because this one is significantly forward more. I love dynamic posing, I'm just really bad at it. So I'm thinking this might be a good way to kind of like step into it a bit more. Find pieces I like and do these kind of pose studies. Like, let's just see what it looks like without, for example. Still horny. <laughs> Anyway. Also, we don't really need this now. Let's see what happens. So let's take a look at mini canister real quick. Mini chemist head. Mini chemist. That's nice, Bill Mini Tennis. Body. Mini Chemist. Background. I intend. Oh. I intend on using this as my just warm up sheet, and eventually we're going to fill it all the way in. But until then, I want to, like. I need, I need things to be organized. Honestly, we could slap it all together, but it's kind of nice to have him. Actually, do I have him saved already? Okay, I actually have him saved already, so we can just merge these. Mini chemist. Okay. And now back to the horny thing. Not horny? Pretty horny. Alright, there's nothing in this one. Or this one. There's nothing in there either. Delete that. We're back here. Okay, let's real quick just use a different color. We'll use blue this time. And we'll just start trying to trace out the body with it. Maybe we should have this just kind of there. So you can, can more... Maybe we'll just drop the opacity of this even more. Just like barely in the background. So we can still reference it. But we don't really like copy it. I just need like some good like let's just see how far I can get with this just pure sketching that is too thin Do we just make this an entire page of um, my Sona? Do we make this a, a horny Sona picture? Is that what we do? Because it would be funny.
And hey, like I said, I said this before in the in the Discord. Someone's got to make weird horny art of my character because quote unquote poor precious little meow meow, poor little meow meow of the server. Also, if people are making horny art of my character, it means they're not making horny art of the other characters who are, in fact, minors. And I do not want that. So this seems like a good way to, to make people not do that. By just doing it for only my character. I'll be... That's right. I'll be the poor meow, little meow meow so no one else has to be. That's how it works. <laughs> hmm. Still, magic chemist pinups seem a bit weird. Oh well. We are way too far into it now. God, I always mess up with these leg muscles as well. Okay, let's increase the opacity this bit, because I'm going to see this a bit more now. Like, these are some thick thighs, my man. I appreciate it. And like we can kind of figure out the shading as well. I will not let I will not let anyone else anyone else ever become like a sexualized character. That is just weird, and I don't like it. Therefore, it's my job now. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to draw feet, and these don't help. Oh god, you're making a meme of me. <laughs> I don't understand why I have the most memes on the Just... When it comes to everyone on the server, everyone makes memes about me. <laughs> People have to do more memeable things on the server. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's pretty good because you want to like show mm, maybe like that ish. All right, we just need to drop this opacity again so we aren't really looking at it as much. Ooh. Yeah, we're probably gonna do this. Um, I don't know, for a little while. What does a foot look like? Well, I'm probably gonna, going to do this until the, like, maybe 35, 40 minute mark. Now let's just, all right, so we have a big toe, and then there's the others. What do my feet look like? I don't know. I don't have feet. You know what? That's close enough. Alright, let's increase the opacity this a bit. Figure out where we went wrong. We're gonna need to put nipples. You know how it works. My character doesn't have a tail, so we're good. So there's a decent amount of shading in this area. I apparently didn't make this arm that thick in comparison. Probably should be a bit bulkier. I guess this is how you get better at drawing as well. There's practice and studies. Oh, we forgot the body. Ooh, he's got a little roll. Delightful. You can see how the body creases. That's actually really nice. That's not something you see very often. Mm. 
There will be no magic peepus on, on this stream though. I will never draw my character's penis. I do not I do not want to make any pornography, probably ever. That's just not my style, my man. Like I'll make horny art like this. This is this is definitely horny. But I'm not gonna do anything pornographic. I don't want that. And like I said. I'm just doing things to make it make things simultaneously more and less weird. You know how it is. Oh god, you sent me the meme. Oh god. <laughs> This is bad. All right, let's see. Let's. let's all right, let's. All right, how do I copy this? God. Oh. Thank you, Hume. Oh, God. I'm saving that one to my phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Next part is this neck area, because we definitely got the neck wrong. Because he's got his head cocked. Okay, let's erase that and we'll do this section again. So he's got his neck cocked, therefore it's probably more so like that. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes I wish I drank alcohol so I could forget some things. I don't think I'm going to be able to forget that, Yumi. I hope you know that. I hope you know you've plagued me with this knowledge that I fit into some really niche memes. Alright, let's... Oh, God. Alright, so there's that. Oh, that's Titty. So that's like part of the chest there. Yeah, I, I exist. I am to be memed about, I know. I exist for everyone to make memes about me, actually. That seems to be one of my main purposes on the Minecraft server. I just can't figure out this neck portion. It's not often you have to decapitate a pinup. This is weird. This is getting really weird. 
We're gonna put some clothes on this man. He's gonna... I'm gonna put pants on him. I won't give him a shirt, but I will put pants on him. How weird is this? Pretty goddamn weird, I gotta say that. Pretty goddamn weird. Some pants on this man. You know what? We'll put him in shorts. It's, it's the swimwear episode. Pants? Swimming pants. Swimming pants. Ooh. You know what? Yeah, let's just. Goddamn weird. <laughs> it's pretty goddamn weird. <laughs> Gonna eat some more dinner. I, I can't stop laughing at this thing. It's funny. It is funny. <laughs> like, I've never made anything like this. I feel this is a pretty good warm-up, though. We'll give it, like, 15 more minutes, and then we're just gonna call it, and then we're gonna work on the actual piece we want to. Okay. We don't need this. Don't need that. What even was this one? Oh, it's the joints. We don't need that. It's fun, but we don't need... You know, we'll leave it here. As a memory. Can you guys see that when I mouse over it? No, you can't. Weird. Alright. We'll keep it right there. And, uh... I guess this, this is what we're doing. Yeah, I guess this is what we're doing. Alright, how big is this brush? about the same size, so let's go down to four. I mean, the idea is this is literally just sketch stuff. So nothing has to be perfect. We'll clean it up later, obviously. 
or will we at all? Who knows? Will I post this to Twitter? Yes. That is a guarantee. This will go on my Twitter. This will probably become my pinned post. It's a pin up. You gotta pin it up somewhere, so I'll pin it on my Twitter. funny but so weird <laughs> oh god there's no way I'm doing this for it literally anyone else or anything else. Will I do it of myself? I guess so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do I even do this? Because it's funny? Yeah, pretty much. Will I give myself body hair? It's a little funny. Like, yeah. It's weird. It's kind of like in the same realm as when I lost it laughing on Shrine's birthday because I killed him and gave him his own head on the server and then I was laughing too hard at birthday head because it's weird it's definitely weird and awkward but if I'm not laughing at it it'll just be weirder <laughs> so if I laugh along to this then at least it's not like super weird it's gonna be weird, but it's still funny now, at least. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I'll be the sexy demon man of the server. That's what I do. Oh my god, you know what would even be funnier? So what if I turn this into a Minecraft map and sell it on the server? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's a little too far. Yeah, it, it's my own character. I'm doing it myself. I'm not going to do this for anyone else's character. Like, even if they explicitly ask for it, I don't know if I will. Because, like, it's funny, yeah. But it, it's, it's me. I can do this to myself. Is this where my belly button be? My nipple? That's a tiny nipple. I'm just not gonna give him any of that. Because I don't feel like it. Now we need to get a smoother line for this. That was not what I wanted. That works, though.
It is interesting though as well, because like, I've never done this kind of art, but being able to study this kind of stuff is really actually interesting. That's a pointy knee, we're gonna round out that knee. It's pretty accurate apparently. Come on, let's check that pointy knee. But yeah, it's relatively accurate, but I just don't like it. And like I s I'm not gonna clean this that much, because like why would I? It's literally a warm-up sketch. It's literally just funny. I guess this confirms that he has human feet though. So do with that information as you will. I don't really know what to do with that. I guess this is a free feet pick of my character, I, I guess. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I don't know how to draw feet. Which is for the best, it means you know I'm not... I don't have a foot fetish. You know this, because I don't know how to draw feet. That's actually pretty good! Yeah, I'm s like, all right, to be honest, I have like this love-hate relationship with horny artwork because the, th all right, like the reason why I still follow some horny artists on my Twitter is because, how do you even say this without making it even weirder than it is? Pretty much. They love their craft to an extreme amount. And as such, there is a lot to learn from the insane level of craftsmanship that comes from something like like this Nightcrawler picture. Like, you have to admit, ooh boy, we did not mean to do that. This is an incredibly well done piece of art. That being said, Yes, it is horny, and therefore not for everyone. But, you have to like, toe the line. Like, I really like this level of quote-unquote eroticism. It is, it's an amazing level of skill that I just don't know how to attain. But then you cross, if you cross it a little further than this, then it's just pornographic and it's just kind of like, sure, but now I know people are getting off to it. Like this, I can just appreciate and be like, this is incredible. I want to be able to draw like this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a sort of love-hate relationship because... There really are some incredible artists that do some amazing work. And like specifically with monsters as well. The issue is the best monster artists are all doing it pornographically. And that's not what I want out of this. Like sure, whatever, it's nice I guess. But I want really cool monster designs. I want some incredible work that goes with it. Issue is, there's not many people that do that, that don't also find it horny. It is a constant struggle to find, like, good art pieces like that. Constant struggle. So 
See? You don't even have to pay for the Magic Canvas rants. They just happen. And it's always about the weirdest shit, too. Today's rant, why does Magic Chemist like horny artwork? But yeah, like... Like, I don't say much, but my sexuality is technically an offshoot of asexuality. I am demisexual. So, like, my sexual attraction comes from romantic attraction. But... Oh my god, yeah. But yeah. Oh yes, 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 it's the same with furry artists. It's just like, oh my god. Even worse is like, oh. You have an, so, so many incredible talents in the way of... Well, first of all, artwork, yes, we got that. But also, oh, you can do amazing artwork. Not only that, but you can do amazing storyboarding, and you can do, like, um, storytelling, dialogue writing, like, because a lot of these pe people do some, just, do like to do comics and such, and then suddenly it's just pornographic. I'm like, sure, whatever, I won't, I won't, like, say anything bad about it. It's just the fact that, like, some of my favorite artists from, like, years back, because, oh, we've said this before, I used to be a furry way back when. I think, when was this even? God, this was, like, almost eight years ago. Anyway. And so, like, a lot of the, art, like, my exposure to art was very much, um a lot of the furry fan fandom but um you should fix that arm yeah it was a lot of the furry fandom way back when ooh that is too much But yeah, like, there are a lot of inspirational artists that I followed many, many years ago. But like, it's the kind of thing of like, how do you reference this person's art without being like, oh yes, this is the furry porn artist. And it's like, you can't just bring that up in a conversation. So annoying. Bill is like, but now at least I have much better ways to expose myself to artists. Some and Twitter is a very good example of that, but also so is Tumblr, so is um, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering, so I do have some favorite Magic artists. My favorite is Dominic Meyer. Mayer, I honestly don't know how to pronounce his name, but anyway, like he has some incredible artwork, and before Magic, I would never have even seen it. But it's the same way of like, it's what you surround yourself with. And way back when, I only really surrounded myself with 
people people in the furry fandom, and therefore that's just kind of what I thought was how you make good art, kind of thing. Not the pornography thing, but a lot more, much more the just the what what they find important in detail more than anything else. And like w how to conduct yourself when it comes to non-human um, traits, and with that, how do you get from step one, step one being humanity, to like step five being the end result of your like for for Sona or whatever it is. And that is definitely something that I still carry with me in creating more inhuman designs. Ooh, actually, no, I want this longer. And as such, there there really are some amazing artists in the furry community. Um, I actually do follow one still. They are safe for work, so I can say that now. Let me see if I can find their name. They do really good, like, artwork of magic, specifically. That's kind of how I found them. They're making really cool, like, a chibi styles of... So basically some of the magic furries. Being, like, a Johnny, Miri... No, is it Miri? Yeah, it's Miri. Arlen Cord, Tovalar... I'm not going to be able to find it right now. I'm not doing that. Anyway, he's got he's got some really good looking just chibi art style that also I would love to be able to do chibi, but it is very difficult. Like I can do semi realism, but chibi artwork is something else. Also, we're almost an hour in, so it's pretty much time to stop. We'll finish this line, lining stuff. We'll add some flames. Is it this section? Yeah. Alright, let's... Oh, so that's fine there. Speaking of, I've got to... I did a flame study the other day, and I've gotten a lot better at drawing fire than I used to. Let's watch me whiff it now that I've said that, though. Also, yes, this collar thing is attached to his body. He cannot take it off. It's not a collar, it's a cap on his neck. Let's merge that. What's this one? Oh, this is where I wanted to draw the flames. That's it. Now let's turn the face off. Alright, let's... It's honestly kind of incredible just how doing a few studies really can improve your artwork. And I really didn't understand that until like I started doing them. Also, I highly recommend just doing doing some stuff that you know doesn't matter. Like, this is a warm-up piece for me. 
I've never done warm-ups in my life before recently. And I gotta admit, they're kind of life-changing. But doing something that feels like it doesn't matter that much is kind of nice because it really gives you this reason to kind of let loose and just try things. And it's very low stress almost. And it helps me just get started with things rather than feeling like, oh, I have to start this, I have to do this, I have to do this. But no, it's just, it just is now. Suddenly I just, oh, I have created something in, if I wanted to actually really try and put a lot of effort into this, this would have taken me hours. Like this would have taken me like tens of hours. But no, it's, it's just gone very simply, which is very nice. Ooh, really, that's not what I wanted. It's very different from how I usually draw. Let's just erase the fangs, I think. I don't think they fit this piece. Else that finger's big. With this kind of things as well, you're just... You're kind of just going along and doing your own thing and then suddenly you have something that really would not have happened otherwise. I kind of want the thing, so we're going to try and add him again. Let's hide the... Ooh. Let's hide the flames. But it's kind of like that same thing. But I was talking about it kind of just like... Okay, that's kind of... Kind of good. Alright, let's just erase this chunk of flame. That's not it. This chunk of flame. It's also not it. Is this it? Yes. And then we'll just kind of lower it somewhat. Let's move this somewhat. Nope, this one. God. God, the WebSMP wiki pages. 
Like, I didn't expect it to be that bad or that long, but it just turned out real long at, at the end of it. You know, I kind of want to shade this. We'll, I mean, color it, rather. So, we'll, we'll put some color in him. Why not, right? Why not? He's got relatively dark skin, so... We're just gonna do flats, though. Maybe, if we really feel like it, we'll do some shading. I'll say it just feels good to do art more than anything. Actually, what if we don't do it? Let's just... What if we just did black and white? Or grayscale, rather. That could be good. Because I've never done that. Well, actually, I have done it before. That's how I used to draw. I used to do almost entirely grayscale when I did inks. Yeah, this warm up definitely got out of hand. That makes it funnier. So, this is definitely going on my Twitter. I might get some strange followers, but you know what? That's okay. Ooh, I really like this person's art. What do they do mostly? Oh, they stream Minecraft usually? <laughs> Also, something else I really like about this drawing a Nightcrawler, he's, he has actually some really almost standard proportions. Like his thighs are relatively thick, He's got, but he's got decent muscle. As well as you can see here, he's got like a slight rolls in the, in the like fat of his body. But he still has like so much definition. It's very cool. I really like that piece. Hey, I asked you to do it. Does it matter that my soul is completely different now? Maybe. Why was my soul blaze powder and now it's uh netherite scrap? Who knows? I do. No one else does. I thought it would be fun. No, that's there's prob there might be a reason. Probably. Maybe not. Alright, let's do Oh, that's just white. I meant to go like this. Why don't we turn off the background? Yeah, let's let's erase that real quick. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Alright, let's lighten this a bit. A bit more. Never mind, it's this one. Ooh, maybe actually... God, how did he do it? He... Alright, so the guy I was talking about, Dominic Meyer, he had this really interesting way of doing gold. 
And that was he used like a dark yellow. And like I'll show you real quick. And then he just splotched it with light yellow. And that just bam, suddenly you have gold. I'm like, what the hell, my man? Like, dude. Why is it that easy? Maybe we'll add some just really minor shading. You know, I keep saying these things. Like, uh, maybe we'll just do this. We'll just do this. Now we're so far in, we just gotta finish it. It's okay, he's in shorts though. He has pants on, <laughs> therefore it's all okay. He wears sh uh, she wears short shirts, uh, she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers, dream about the day that you wake up and see what you're looking for, it's been here the whole time. I don't know the rest of the song, but I know most of it. Oh god. Maybe we'll make teeth like silver or something. Can't you see that I'm the one who understands you? Something, something. You see, you belong with me. You belong with me. Honestly, I think it would be possible to do a quote unquote karaoke stream. It's not actually karaoke, but it kind of is. Basically, you don't get the background music part. You just have to sing. Which technically it would work and is not actually against Twitch's terms of service. You can sing songs, you just can't do karaoke. Or if you do karaoke, it has to be for songs you already own or are licensed to do so. You're not allowed to break copyright to do karaoke. I was looking into this. So technically if I wanted to, I could give myself a reward for like channel points that said just sing a song and that would be allowed. Any other skin? No. All right, let's. Just some casual changing of things. You know how it goes. Drop the opacity a little bit, just... Let's look at Nightcrawler again. Look at those lightings. Get some darker now and figure this out. Oh god, you want to do something problematic? What? What do you want to do? <laughs> if it's funny, it's okay. You know what? Yeah, you should. 
If it's for lore, you should do something problematic. It would be very funny. I intend on- oh, okay. I don't believe Shrine is here. So... Basically, I have a fantastic idea of how to prank Shrine. And that is, I intend on building a maze in his tree, a hedge maze. And <laughs> the hedge maze will may or may not uh, have the Lost Woods theme from Legend of Zelda playing in it constantly. Thing is, I need a reason to do it, I feel like. Because this is a pretty mean one. Like, he, I don't think he's done anything to deserve this from me yet. Like, he's done some suspicious stuff, and I don't really care for what else is going on, but, like, I'm not going to be that mean to him yet. But I do still kind of want to do the hedge maze idea, because that just seems like fun. And I think the rest I'll do is silver. Right, let's get another layer... Got that opacity. Now let's just do this blue real quick so you can actually see it. He did gaslight the entire server, so I do technically have a reason. It wouldn't be, hey, this is just because. There would be a reason, so. It's definitely possible. Thing is, if I do that, I feel I should do it for everyone else as well. And the one, the idea I have for Krim is I intend on making Undertale music in her house. Because she just started playing Undertale, she wouldn't really get it and it would be funny. But that doesn't seem nearly mean enough. Like, it's a fun prank and all, but it doesn't seem mean enough for the amount of effort that goes into it. I feel like I'd have to do something else as well. Like, the music stuff is fun. I call it a music bomb, but yeah. I fully expect your soul to be hidden in that sugarcane area. That's, like, where the mine is. That's what I expect, at least. Really? It was? Wow. Um, what's it called? Be right back. Gotta go on the server real quick. <laughs> Honestly, it's a good way to defend it. If you make a room that seems like it shouldn't have anything in it, then that's usually enough of a reason for people to avoid it. So, I mean, good enough, honestly. No, of course not. You know I don't metagame. Yeah, like, let's see. Yeah, the shorts can be silver too, why not? I actually did do something on the server just now. And, well, not just now, but, like, right before I started streaming. Speaking of, I have to eat some more dinner. But, um, basically what I did is I went on the server and I made banners for everyone. And placed them at each person's base and used them as waypoints on the map now. So if you actually look at the map I have, everyone has a little spot. I also, quote-unquote, pranked, um... Chloe, uh, but that was more of just a, hey, I'm sorry I burned your house down. I did not mean to do that. Technically, it was Enderman's fault, but like, in actuality, I know it wasn't an Enderman's fault. I know what actually happened, and that is, um, 
Chloe definitely was like AFK mining and then accidentally broke the block that basically I think she looked up a little too much and broke the block that was holding the lava at bay for the um, machine I made for her. And in doing so, lava spilled out and burned the house down. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I don't think it was an enderman. But anyway, I quote unquote fixed the house that burned down with some uh, advertising. So we'll see what she thinks of that when she's on the server. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a nice, you know, I won't spoil what it is, but I think it looks nice personally. And I think it'll be perfectly fine because Chloe was building a new um, house anyway, so it's fine anyway. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's go probably this color. Come on. All right, big boy. You know what? I actually really like that. Um, huh, what color should I make the background of this one? I'm also just gonna merge these layers. Was it Control E? Delete that one. We'll leave Nightcrawler there. What color background? I guess maybe we could do actual skin color. I think this is technically the second piece of somewhat sultry art I've made. Other was a kind of horny insect. Ooh, let's get a gradient in here, actually. Let's get some purple. And then some kind of brighter red. Ooh, that's too much. And then we'll texture it again. Lower the opacity and just. Darken it, get a little more on the purple. <laughs> God. Hey, hiding in plain sight is kind of a good strat. I'm gonna eat some dinner while I think about this background. The pose makes it. I don't know what you're talking about. But in actuality, the colors and such look fantastic. This is a good color practice as well. It is a very useful uh, and very helpful sugarcane farm. Right, let's just real quick just. Nope, meant to just do 100% there. Where is the bucket tool? Alright, then let's just drop the opacity. Darker.
God, I have used so much sugarcane to make the entry passes. Speaking of which, the entry pass system is up and running now. I just need to now make the token exchange system. So, that's definitely going to be something. Try something. Okay, ask a little to the right. All right, too far to the right. Wait a minute, I could just do this and just do it after. Alright, let's deselect on new layer. And I want gross yellow. Okay, let's just Supposed to work on assignment due tomorrow. Eh, Minecraft, yeah. I actually have a home assignment due tonight. Um, that being said, my classes do are fully online right now, and don't really have proper due dates. So I'm just doing things when I want to. Yeah, like, I usually wouldn't. Well, actually, no, I guess I usually would. I really like high detail pieces, and I guess I'm constantly working towards achieving that. Alright. Let's now move this thing a little. Move that. Is this it? Nope. I'm on the wrong layer. Well, this definitely turned out hornier than anticipated. Like, I knew it was going to be horny, but, like, really? Ooh, too far. Oh, God, where are we?
Okay, let's color it. This is supposed to be a warm-up. We've spent like half our time doing this. Oh well. I enjoyed it. Alright, let's save that, and uh, now let's crop it. Save as. Um. Sure. Let's just put this thing. I don't know. I guess in my pictures folder. Uh, Create documents. Magic chemist pin up. <laughs> Save as again. Now let's export it as a PNG. That's the wrong file type. Give me PNG. Save. Okay. <laughs> I might sell it. Oh god, what the hell is that? At some point, I erased a chunk of his foot. That's the wrong thing. I wonder when that was. Let's just find out. Way too far back. So let's just close this. Don't save it. Uh, I guess open it back up. do this? Yeah. Alright, let's... Great. Just go like this for a bit. Okay, let's now get this color. Sizes down. Just drop the opacity. Size it up. Size it down. Fixed. It's fixed fine. Crop it, and we'll just again and do the same thing. All right, enter. All right, let's control Z that, save this, and do that again. File, save as. Ugh, God, all right. Where did I save this again? In my pictures folder? Save pictures. No, it's in Creative Documents. Magic Guns Pin Up. Save. Yes, replace it. Files. Save as. Now we want it as a PNG. Save. Yes, replace. Okay. This looks awesome. I gotta admit, it looks awesome. It's pretty horny, but it looks great. Alright, glad we did that. Let's move on to the thing we actually wanted to do today. <laughs> We're an hour and a half into our three hour stream. Oh god, I need to eat something.
Okay. I did the baseline work earlier. By earlier, I mean yesterday. But I want the details for it. Like, I put some minor ones in, but... Also, like, we need to put the tail in. There's just a lot of little things we need to do still. Also, for some reason, I decided to draw most of this with a smaller brush than usual. It's the wrong player. I'm so bad at getting the tail shape right. Like, I, the reason why this is in its current state is because I didn't understand how to do the tail. Like, I want the right thickness all along it, but I don't know how to do that. I think, also the best way is probably just trace what I did before. Then clean that up. God. Alright, let's do it with this one. Okay, now we can have a general shape and kind of clean this up somewhat. I also need to put the wings in. God. Nothing is ever easy. Okay, that's the main tail. I kind of want to have, like, kind of dragonfly wings. But I kind of want to have it, like, cyber very cybernetic. So perhaps something along these lines. We'll have kind of like the main beam, and then we'll have kind of offshoots as support structures. Then we need the actual, like... Well, that we can't see, that we can barely see. That's kind of not the point even. Okay, that seems pretty good. Now we have to do some... Oh god, I clicked on the meme again. Alright, let's lower it somewhat. We need to show that this thing has depth. Nodules. Uh, just read it out. Probably some spikes along in it as well. That's pretty good. 
I feel like I have just so extremely grown as an artist over the past little over a year now. I've been doing so much more art than I used to. And in addition, I've been doing, well, lately, I've been doing a lot of just character studies. It's kind of like the reason why I wanted, it's the reason why I drew like Chimera's uh, Monster Sona. The reason why is because I wanted to be able to kind of practice with characters and things that I don't typically work with. It's the same reason like one of my best performing Twitter things I've done was actually a character study of someone else's character I did. That actually the original artist liked it and it's like wow I did not expect anyone to do a character study on this character. I'm like thank you I guess. I'm like oh. I appreciate it. I just really was really inspired. I really liked it. Like glad I'm glad you also liked it back. They probably need some sort of rotating part, because our skin has the ability to rotate, but less so when it's a robot. Actually, maybe that was correct. What's this one even called? It's, it's the common with number of, um, what is this one? It's number 56, I think. Actually, it might be on it. Oh, nope, it's not there. I think it's number 56. Yeah, the aura stabilizer, so. I was thinking of if I had um, a different name. I thought it was the fragile ally. I would have added like cracks along as well. Also, this pose is actually fully freehanded as well. So that's something else that's really cool about this one. Adding a lot more depth to it because I really got getting better at art has done one thing that I don't care for and that is suddenly I have higher standards of what I want to put out and therefore oh my god I guess I need to um, add more detail to things It's a good thing. It makes my art look better, but it take, it takes so much. Oh, Jesus Christ. It makes it take so much longer. And, like, these are supposed to be low detail pieces. That's why they're this resolution. mad all the time about everything. That's what I do.
Now, to make it even hornier, one second. That's way too big. Now the robot has nipples. Many nipples. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe we'll put some dots along the rest of the body as like lights. Pretty cool. The nipples are screws. It's not a penis, guys. It's an um uh exhaust port. It's fine. I promise. It's not NSFW, he just needs to be able to release exhaust. Why doesn't he do it through any other part of his body? Because this part is close to the power core. We don't want it to overheat. I actually kind of like that as is. Maybe we'll leave it here and then we will start developing the color. Issue is some of these are really close together like that one. That's okay. We can figure out the color of this guy. I mean, he's gonna be silver. Like, who would guess? Wow, it's almost like the same color palette as some of those concrete buildings in on the Minecraft server. It's almost like a similar person would have worked on the aesthetic. Who? wow, who would do that? Alright, so let's... I can't help but see this as slightly brown because of that background. I'm gonna have to look away from it and come back. Let's just dye it black and then that should help us reset our brain. I want this a little darker in some places. Hmm. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Then there's these, which they can be similar. These should probably be a little darker because they're the background. There's a lot of random bits and pieces I need to clean up. Well, that's on this layer. I think this is two. There's lots of little things you gotta clean up just everywhere. Oh, my playlist ended. Gotta get more music. Um, we could do the usual, but I think I might just do a synth wave for a bit. Nope, too much. Get those claws a little sharper. down even more and just kind of oh, I just don't like that maybe like that it's not like you'll even ever see this detail anyway hmm. 
Ooh, there's still a bit of purple in those. Alright, let's get rid of that. That is way too small. Did any other purple areas? Doesn't look like it. Also, I actually might change this to like bright green almost. Definitely makes it stand out. Huh. Maybe we'll do a light blue then. Or maybe like a kind of neon cyan. Ooh, that does look kind of nice. All right, let's use that as the base. Let's color, color this in completely. Oh, too much. Right, let's real quick leave it there. Get all the green bits. Make sure none of the tail is selected. Looks to be everything. Control X. Control V. Okay, now we have the wings. On their own layer. Okay. Bring it to a little more to the green. Okay, that's a good base. Alright, maybe we use a little bit more of this. It's way too small again. And kind of bring some of it back. To like have this initial frame and then the rest be... Yeah, I think that works best. Because then you have this, like, difference in color. And having that stark difference is kind of what I want. Okay. I should really be using a different brush, but I don't really care right now. Okay, let's increase that. Goodbye. Don't need that one. Don't need these. Erase that one too while I'm here. Get that one. Okay. Let's see if we can snip this bit out. Control X. V. Okay. And now let's color it again more in the color scheme we want. Right. Let's get these quite dark in comparison. We want that difference between the foreground and the background. We don't want them to mix at all because they were a bit too similar. And where they meet, it needs, to, it needs to be different. Okay, he's looking good, he's looking good. Get more dinner. Body lines, wing ridge lines. That's a D. 
bridge. Oh, I just spelled lines. Okay, cool. Wing span lines. Tail lines. All right. Bonk. All right, let's get the body color in. We'll use pink so you can see the difference, and then we'll color it after. Wow, that's a funky looking thumb. Oh well. Too late. We are well past that. I'm sure there's definitely like a way to do this easier. I just don't know what it is. Oh, actually. These sections of flexibleness should be actually a different color. I don't know what yet, but they should be a different color so that we can kind of differentiate areas that can flex or not. Torso needs to be able to flex too, so that he can like effectively do crunches, kind of the thing. Like these joints here, they can like fold and such, but there needs to be flexible parts. That's why like our body, when we scrunch up, kind of like basically folds over itself. You need kind of like soft tissue and hard tissue kind of mixed together. That's how you get range of motion. Also, because the most of the line art was done already for this piece, we can kind of rush through it mostly. There's a lot less faff. Alright, I thought so. Usually the line art is some of the hardest thing to do. It because it's about getting started. At least it is for me. That's one of the things I mainly struggle with, and that is definitely the getting started part. I mean that's kind of why I'm doing this stream today as an art stream instead of the usual fight night on Wednesdays. That's just because I it's been a while since I've really put time and effort into a piece. So it feels good to be able to come back to that. Hmm. How dare you. Goodbye. At the end of the day, I do love just doing art. It really feels nice to be able to output some, something that is purely yours. You know, to have that kind of creative... God, the word coming to mind is discharge. It's kind of gross. Uh, creative output. Being able to have that creative output is, is a good thing. Like, I feel like everyone should have some sort of creative output in their life i don't know what that would be and for each person i'm sure it would be different but like everyone needs something and i honestly have quite a few right now because like these art pieces for my card game aspects forum i have the web s p server for just minecraft creative things because honestly, Minecraft like building is it's an art form is an art form in its own. It very much is. 
Like, it's hard to say otherwise. Because it, it's... it's I constantly compare it to, like, painting and drawing. And I will continue to. Because for me, that's kind of what fits. It's a best analogy when you're trying to... It's the creative process. Like, it, it all is. It's just how you apply it. But yeah, I have the web SMP server. I'm running behind the scenes, so I have that kind of creative stuff. I have my actual bases and such I'm building. That's something else. I have all this drawing stuff. I have a story for Aspects of Aurum to write. And like, I have a lot of... I have a lot of creative outputs right now. Which is both good and bad for me. It's good because it means I honestly always have something to devote myself to. It's bad because it's kind of overwhelming. It is a lot of stuff to put out. But also, like, I enjoy it. Like, the, the rest, that's the reason why I'm still doing this. If I didn't enjoy making the art or, like, building this card game, for example, I just wouldn't do it. It's just about getting that drive to be able to do it now and then. It doesn't have to be an all-the-time sort of thing. And, like, that's why it's good to just pick it up and do it. Like, that warm-up sketch, it wasn't, it didn't become a sketch. It was supposed to be a sketch. But the warm-up piece, it was just supposed to be just a thing. I was like, oh, let's just get the pose down and we'll just have fun with it. And now it's me. Suddenly I have a pinup of myself. What am I going to do with that? God, I don't know. It's going on my Twitter, though. Which, personally, I find funny. It would kind of be fun to make more kind of spicy art. I don't, like I said earlier, I don't really want to make anything erotic ever, probably ever. That's just not my style. I do not wish to slap the peepus or booba on my um, art. I am perfectly fine otherwise. It's kind of like, if you look at my my Tumblr, there's a lot of things that are like, things where you can question, is this horny? And you can both answer yes and no, and both are kind of correct. Because it's a lot less about that. It's much more just the art itself. But being able to make people ask that question is kind of one of the goals I have of my art. Because... I honestly just really love that the style of it. And it's kind of like that idea of there's, a, there's something for everyone. And if you have multiple ways to enjoy something, then that's just, that's just good marketing. Then again, I'm not really trying to market my art at all. I'm, this is, almost everything I do is a passion project. Like, become, <clears throat> sorry about that. I'm trying to say becoming affiliate on Twitch completely happened by chance. Like, I'm glad it happened, it's really cool, but I was never in this for the money. Or any anything of the sort. I wasn't here to monetize it. I'm just having a good time, and I want to be able to make it so my art can not my art in whatever form that be. I want it out there in the world. And being able to have it, however that be, is just really it's really compelling. 
And it's also a nice motivator. Being able to have that audience is really what lets me do this. It is, it's not much either. Like, I don't have a large audience, and I don't really find that. Because that's... It's more, it's more the act of putting it out there so if someone wanted to, they could find it. Much less, I want people to see this. It's much more, given the potential, I would like people to. Uh, we're going with blue for the wings. Maybe we should go a little more blue with... Well, let's just go bright blue and then we'll figure out the next part. Body color, two. All right. This will be all the joints. I kind of feel like the hands should be like this, but eh. Also, we can just do that. See how it looks. And then we don't like it, just erase it. Better to do it and then find out. Because hands are quite mobile, so it would make sense that they're made of flexible material, too. This part, yeah, it can be it. I was considering adding lights as well along the body, but I wasn't, I'm not sure. really grown to like this style. I, I've kind of... I don't know if I can say I created this style, but the style that I... I guess I kind of did, because at the end of the day, this style is the amalgamation of all the things I wanted in the pieces. And it kind of just became my signature look for things. Whatever this style may be. It's kind of this mix of abstract and not. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I am definitely still going for that stained glass or mosaic feel more than anything, because I just really like the look of it. But being able to have kind of like a level of realism is nice too. It's kind of like why, for me, it's a break from this to do something a little more detailed. And like that piece I just did earlier, that's something a little more detailed, and I'm not used to doing that, really. But at the same time, I love doing it, because that's what I tried to do for years on end, and never been able to, but now, it makes so much more sense to me. And it's probably because of all my practice doing this art style. Oh, we forgot a hand. All right. Let's see, maybe we go like to here. That seems like a good color to work with. It's a bit pale, so I kind of want a little more vibrancy to it. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Now there's the actual mask area. I usually do a type of galaxy effect in the mask. Maybe I could do that with the mask and um, wings. All right.
Another thing I've been doing a lot more recently is I've been doing a lot of pencil sketching again. And I think that's, there's a few reasons for that. One, I really don't have the time right now to be doing that much digital artwork. Because this takes me hours usually to finish something. To get the full like line art, render, and so on, I don't really have the time to do that all in one sitting usually. And that's kind of how I like to do it. Recently, I've been trying to just do it piece by piece, like, oh, today I'll do some line art, today I'll do some sketching, or today I'll do some coloring, or shading, or whatever. This is very new. I I like to sit down, and I like to do something from start to finish. Thing is, that also does definitely hinder me as well. There's a lot of art pieces I really want to do that are just a little too ambitious for me. Like the paint, painting I did of Shrine murdering me in WebSP Season 1. That very much was um, something out of my skill range. It also took me days on end to do. Let's maybe go up here. Okay, that's a good start. Hmm. Why don't we go dark here as well? Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. Let's a little more around the edges and bring in a little more deep blue. Lower the opacity a bit so we can kind of get these effects around the edge mostly. Ooh, yeah, that that is good. We're gonna have to change the beams, I think. I'm not sure what color yet, but we'll figure it out. I also I want to get some kind of like starry effects in there. I like having that. Get, more, get a little more color into it. A little more contrast. Get a little more just different, different types. I don't want it to be too busy either. Alright, let's... I don't like... Yeah, let's just... I think with this, I think less is more here, which usually I don't go with, but dropping the opacity seems to help as well. So we get that like, that mysterious feeling, but let it's less of it. Okay, let's... make this a little darker. We still want it to stand out, so we want something relatively bright. Okay, let's just restart the color. Okay. Alright, let's fully restart the color and work our way back. Honestly, I'm thinking the deep blue actually is kind of the way to go here. If we add black to it, does that help? A little bit. Like, let's just take a look. Uh, it's blending in too much. We need, we need more blue. It has to be like a, it can't be too bright. 
So like this line especially is blending in too much. So maybe that one just has to be a bit brighter. Let's go like that. That looks pretty good. I think this needs one needs to be a bit lighter. All right, that looks pretty good actually. I think that's pretty good place to stop for that color scheme. Unless we just completely disregard it and go this way instead. Actually, yeah, that I think might be the right choice. Oh god. I clicked on the I clicked out of the window. Yeah, that's better. That's instantly better. It matches more with the background color while not blending in too much. All right, up next. There's some effects I wanted to add around the hands. In this game, there are four major colors of magic, being red, yellow, green, and blue. In actuality, it's, um, Creation, Destruction, Alteration, and Investigation. So I think that is the next one. Alright, let's start there. Creation. I want boxes. Yeah, something like that seems pretty good. Where's the bucket tool? Want to do the same with destruction. want to get the just shapes down first and then with that we will then figure out the next steps Ooh. Oh, I was expecting it. thank you okay with that is pretty good also these are gonna be partly transparent too so all right investigation That's the blue one. Where is Phil? There it is. Lastly, alteration. 
this one is in green. And I want some like similar galaxy type effects going on. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can definitely work with this. Start with creation. Kind of the idea of this character is it's it's a character that has the ability to kind of refine one type of well technically it's called aurum into another and as a way to kind of effectively color fix and that's kind of just all you need to do with it Like, I'd try and... Oh my god. Why are you doing this to me? So it's on the right layer. Like, what is wrong with it? Did I accidentally, like... Bucket tool something wrong? That's something... Alright, might just delete the destruction one and do it again. That's pretty, uh, rough, my man. Let's be careful with the fill tool this time. Because you might have done something weird last time. Okay, that one worked. I have no idea what I did to cause that issue, I'll be honest. Next is investigation. Let's see if this one works. Okay, that one works. Good. I was getting kind of concerned, I'll be honest. Let's color it. Figure out this. Get a little more of the cyan in there. I get darker blue as well. Drop the opacity so we can kind of get that in there. And just there we go. Okay. And 
And lastly, we have alteration to do. Okay, that one worked too. Right. I have no idea what I did to the red one. Get the color, base color, and kind of figure it out from there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's drop the opacity to 70% on these. I think that's pretty good. I want to do for the background though. I can make him standing on something actually. Like, the flight works, but maybe he's standing on like some sort of obelisk or similar. That could be cool. Let's see what we can do with that. Like... Theoretically, it could work. It's not very centered, but we can definitely work with that. That kind of idea. Put like runes along the side, maybe? That could be good. It helps have that combination of like old and new that I like to have. Swastika. That is one of the main rules. We will not, we will not accept anti-Semitism on my channel. Nope, that's too close. Unless I just kinda... This one should probably be a bit smaller on this side.
God, I'm starting to realize some of the um, structures on the WebSCP server looking kind of like some of the structures I've made in my game. <laughs> Luckily, not too many people see these things, so it's fine. This is where we need the lasso tool, or similar. And move this bad boy down. Stop that. My phone is about to go off. That's what I get for having a bedtime alarm. That I don't listen to. That one's a little wonky. Let's fix that one up. We can probably just use the angling to fix this one. Kinda. We're gonna cover this thing in vines anyway, it's fine. Kinda more like... Yeah. Actually, this probably should be more along the silvery side. Because it's kind of, this is kind of the old, well, quote unquote old. It's sci fi old combined with fantasy new. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. And probably some green in these parts. Upsize that and just blip, blip. Then we'll cut these out and do them on a different layer. Control X, Control V. Okay. And these ones are going to be a dark green. That goes a light green in it. I guess though it's that stark difference that really makes it stand out. Makes it look like it's actually shining effectively. It's catching light in different ways. Okay, let's Alright, a little smaller. That might be too small. Okay, yeah, the opacity's alright. I'm just using a mint. Is that how this color's called? Mint. It's a color of spearmint gum. God, I used to really like spearmint gum, like I was on a pack a day of spearmint gum. You know how it is.
I have very strong jaw, though. So, I mean, who's the real winner here? Strong jaw magic chemist eating a pack of dumb. Dumb. Well, never mind. Conversation over. That's what you get. out more. Actually, maybe these are going to be super dark to kind of show that they have like no power left. It's a weird looking thing, all right. That's what I did. All right, let's see. Well, this part's easy. I'm sorry, this is how I like to move around the canvas as well. I just, <laughs> it's the easiest way to do it. Zooming in and out repeatedly. I know it probably gives like some people some severe motion sickness. <laughs> Pretty good. Now we want to have a little bit of this sprinkled in. I like creeping up the side. Drop that past it just. Make it look worn. Make it look like it has some wear and tear to it. And then what is it? This one? Nope. This one? Yeah. This one. I need a darken then. Alright. We're getting pretty close to the end of this one too. Alright, let's have some stuff like crawling up the sides. This is where it has to go. Oh, that's an ice bowl plant. That's low opacity. Let's do very simple stuff, kind of just clean to the sides, following these lines a bit. Nothing too extreme, but also like still relatively natural looking. Mm -hmm. Just 
more and more until it becomes so... Ooh boy, I hit a button. And these swirls kind of just holding on to whatever they can. I don't know, I really do have an affinity for spirals. I'm not really sure what it is, but they really... I don't know, it's hard to say. It's just very... I've been doing this for a long time, just this spiral look has just really grown on me from office since high school. Let's see. We're gonna add some leaves to these as well eventually, but for now. Alright, that one's good. Some small ones near the bottom that look like they're reaching but haven't gotten to the point of being able to actually grasp anything yet. I think that's pretty good. Let's let's give these some color. That's a pretty good shade of green. Or not. Maybe we'll Yeah, that's a pretty good one. But the thing is we don't want it to blend in too much with the others. In actuality, maybe we can it's a gradient tool. There it is. Alright, we're going to need to put in a little more diversity in this. Maybe some browns, actually. Kind of pull it away from the green. That's pretty good. We need some more, though. And that brown-green mix helps to, like, differentiate. I think I like the brown more, actually.
Hmm. I think the background might just be pretty plain otherwise. I do always like to just star versus lines kind of thing going on. It's always a good look. Just get get the tool out and just go for it. I like having it start from a point. Centered here instead, and just eight point. Let's just put, yeah, let's get this one as well, right there. Let's get rid of this one and have instead and same with this, remove that one and then just I don't know how good gold will look here. Maybe just straight black, honestly. Hmm. Back to orange. Remove that. Green looks bad. Cyan type. A little more blue. Yeah, that could actually work a bit. Kind of silvery blue could be good. Yeah, it's a bit too much going on up there. Let me just don't have that. We could do quite simple this time, actually. Maybe we just... Then incrementally get closer and closer and closer. A little closer than that. I think less is more here. I really do. That same. We kind of use it a lot, right? Ready? Maybe we just kind of get a vague color in there, similar to the wings, but not exactly. And then just slap a gradient on. Maybe like D 
deep blue though. Oh, sorry, I gotta unlock this. No, the background has to be light. Maybe go dark to light. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work quite well. Let's downsize this. Bottom just have straight black. Bottom at the top. Really get some contrast in here. A bit mid tier there, and keep going. Then. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. The obelisk stands out a bit too much. Let's actually name these. I don't know what so I know what's happening. What's this? Um, color. Glyph color. This one, ob lines. Glyph lines. All right, let's select this. All right. And then let's go to the color of the obelisk itself. Grab that too, perfect. This thing is looking too bright. Color black. Swap that to kind of a deep blue. Get that same gradient going. A little more extreme though. And then drop the opacity to where I want it. That looks pretty good. He's a funky guy, that's all he is. Ooh, pants fell. That sounded weird. I have pants on the back of my chair. I meant those. <laughs> Where is... Okay, um... There, maybe? Okay, I got an idea. Let's... Go like this. I want to add some um, shading to that tail. Not much, just, just a little. Tails for balance. And definitely nothing else. What else would it even be for otherwise? Honestly, have we tried giving robots tails? Just. Just wondering. 
Because, like, I feel that would honestly kind of help. Just, like, thinking about it. Like, they're used to gain a lot more stability. And one of the main issues with the robots these days is definitely one of the, st is the stability stuff. And again, I should not be giving um, these companies more ideas or else they use them to kill innocents. Allegedly. Alright, same thing, color black. We'll figure out the kind of shading you want on it. Going like this. Oh, we're doing it the wrong way. God, we do not do it again. Alright, this is how we're starting. We'll work our way down the tail. Do this on your layer. Oh my god. Well, can't go any further back. We're gonna have to do the lines again. That is hot garbage. Oh god. Alright, fine. I guess. Tail shading. Let's turn the tail shading off, I guess. And redo these lines. This was a damper on my mood. At least it's not that hard to like redo it because we have this in. I'm trying to think. Oh god, I have to get up early tomorrow. Like I always get up early, but like tomorrow's an actual early day. I have to be at work at. Um, I have to be at work at seven tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. But oh well. That's what I do. Yeah, it is what it is. Like, it'll be fine. I won't really have a problem with it. It'll be annoying, but it'll be fine. I can't believe I had to redo the tail. God, it's so annoying. At least I have this area selected, so it's not going to be that bad. I just hate it.
Let's zoom in for this one. Mostly black, but like, not completely. Alright, there's that. Let's turn the shading back on and super reduce this. There we go. That makes it look like it fades back and it comes forward. God, it looks so good now. Alright, um, we reduce it a little bit more. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we put in some like mist in the front too. down here. Then drop the opacity all the way down. We're getting a slight blur, but nothing too intense. I think that's pretty much done. Alright, what's this guy called? He is... Where yet? Where yet? C56 Aura Stabilizer. File, save as. This one goes to my desktop to aspects of Aurum, to artwork, raw files, card art, C56, Aura, oh god I hit buttons, Aura, stabilizer, Save. That's the wrong button. Then file, save as, and we will save it as a PNG now. And card art. All right. Then we go and do this. All right, uh, we have to adjust this slightly in After Effects, that way it matches database. Drop that down, that did not look good. So there's a copy,
sound check. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie, the audio is fucky wucky. Artwork, PNGs, edited art, save. Okay. My boy is done. All right. I might as well show you what my game looks like so far. Let me get this all up and running and I'll show you. I see to import this. Recent. Make sure I actually took my name off all of these and swap to my username. I did. Okay. All right, let's swap this. Also, I have no idea why the audio has been doing that lately. It seems to happen at random times. I wonder if I'm like just hitting it weird or like pulling on a cord. Which is very possible, it's probably me, not the device. Alright, let's see, how do I do this? Um, change capture, I would like to go to... Card Creator. Next, done. Alright, this is my card game so far. I need to find out where the hell this card is. That is 55, it's literally this one. If I want to add anything, I just have to remove the template, select the file. Oh, good. Alright. Um... And there's our boy. Zoom in outfit. There you are. All at home. How nice. Yeah, this is my card game, though. I have done a ton of artwork for this thing. This is taking me so long. This is one of the more recent ones. I'm at quite proud of it. The gold of the quill does kind of blend in with the background a bit, but that's okay. Like where it actually matters, it's, it stands out. Like, this was the first piece of art I did for my game, period. But anyway. We are just past the three hour mark, I think. Right? Yeah, just past. So that means it's a very good time to stop. Because I have to actually get ready for bed so I can wake up in the morning and do my 7am shift. There are a few pieces that I definitely need to redo. Like, this is what I originally thought like some of the plant people were gonna look like. Very, very viney around like skeletons, the carnivorous plant style. And that definitely changed more into this kind of vibe. This guy's here too. He's funky. But there's a lot of really high diversity in, in this game. Right, here's the sultry insect I was telling you about. It's very uh, interesting pose. Yeah, this turned out really good though. Alright, I really like that. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Oh god, how many cards do I have planned? Um, let's find out. So I've done 78. You know, I'll just show you this. Alright, let's... Let's size this window proper. I can close that. And I can. Alright, let me swap the capture. Okay. 
you see it? No, you can't. Can I not? There it is. Okay, it, it's there. Let me size things a bit differently. There we go. Okay. So, this is my spreadsheet that I made that has every card, the code it has, the cost of the card, the name, the type, the subtype, the text, if it has attack defense, and the current status of its art. So, there are 148 unique cards. I've done a I've done 78 pieces, so I have exactly 70 left to go. That is for this set. It's coming along, definitely coming along, but like, ugh, ugh. And like two of them I have to redo as well, because I don't like the way they look anymore. Also maybe three even, but those two especially. The progress is slow, but it is honestly quite fulfilling, which is nice. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. I think it's just time to head out. Technically, the game is fully playable, so maybe I'll show you guys sometime, but we'll see. Alright, I'm heading off. I have to get ready for bed. I'll be seeing you guys. I should be streaming next on Saturday? I think. Yeah, Saturday should be the next day. I'll be doing more web SMP and... Hopefully I'll have my next redstone thing designed so I can build that pretty easily. But we'll see, we'll see. So, I'll be seeing you then. And next week we'll return back to Fight Night. It was nice getting back to do some, some art though. Once I'm done with this quarter, maybe I'll be able to have some time to do some more art streams because it's very nice having having it one at least one a week because then I can kind of know I'm making progress. It's nice. Well, see you guys around. See you guys Saturday. Good night, everyone. Or good morning to Hume, I guess. Alright, goodbye!